Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iPad OS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. Inside your settings, you're going to see your first option. From there, just make a backup using your iCloud. If you have no more space on your iCloud, don't worry about it. Just hook it up to your computer and make that backup there. If you guys are running Mac, you can use Finder for that. And if you're running PC, just use iTunes. You can also use those programs in order to update if you're having any problems anyways. So let's just get started with this. Going to general, under general, you're gonna go into your second option where it says software update. And we should see this popping up, which is the latest update. It's only 800 with 21 megabytes, which is pretty small. However, yes, for some of you with slower internet, this could take a while. Anyways, let's just press on download and install. Once you do that, it's gonna ask you for a passcode if you have one. Once you put that in, it's just gonna start downloading. Now, yes, some of you may see only install. That's okay. That means because of your settings, you already downloaded the update. It was just waiting for you to install it. So at this point, all you guys have to do is press install and it's just gonna kind of skip this step where I'm downloading the update. But this is the first step, downloading it. What happens if your iPad turns off when it's downloading? Nothing, you can just download it again. However, if it turns off in the middle of the installation, then it might crash and you might have to restore it. Restoring means deleting everything from your iPad and then restoring it back so you can get everything back in it. And that's why we made that backup. So you guys could load everything back into it just in case something goes wrong. Now, to avoid anything like that from happening, always, always charge your iPad when you're running any updates. So make sure you're charging it at the same time. Even if it's at 99%, 90% battery, I still recommend doing that. And that's because your iPad, most likely, it's not brand new. So the battery isn't like it was before. And if it's new-ish, then you don't have to worry about that that much. But still, I would still suggest hooking up some electricity whenever you're running any updates, just to avoid any problems that could happen. Now again, the downloading time really does depend on your internet speed. So with faster internet speeds, this should only take a couple minutes. With slower internet speeds, this could take up to an hour, sure, if you have really, really slow internet speed. All right, so once it's done preparing the update, you're gonna see this, install now. So tap on install now, and here we go. It's just gonna verify the update. It's gonna restart your iPad, Apple logo, and a loading bar. All right, so as mentioned, you would see an Apple logo in a loading bar. Then it's just gonna show you the Apple logo, and once again, it's gonna show you another Apple logo and another loading bar. This time, this loading bar will go a lot faster, and then you will be done with the update. All right, so once it's finally done, you should see this message. It's all up to date. And let's just log into our iPad. It will ask you for a passcode if you have one. And that would be it for this video. And just to confirm everything, we can go right into our settings. We can go into software update. And from here, we should see that it's all up to date. We are done. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.